Partners. You're watching KGUN 9 News at 5. Nonprofits in the Tucson area seeing big losses because of COVID-19. What they're asking Southern Arizonans to do to pick up the slack. Thanks for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Pat is working remotely. The coronavirus shutdown is squeezing some of Tucson's best loved attractions. As Nine in Your Sides, Craig Smith reports, nonprofit organizations that depend on ticket sales are working hard to raise funds and keep their facilities ready for when visitors can come in again. Tucson Botanical Gardens are meant to be a peaceful place, but now the director is posting videos of an attraction that's more than peaceful. It's empty. The COVID shutdown has shut out visitors and events that keep the gardens growing. And the minute we closed, everything stopped. Admissions, 32 weddings and events canceled. The fundraisers canceled. The classes canceled. So it was really pretty devastating. She says losing visitors in the normally busy tourism months is costing about $400,000. Conklin says they're working to boost donations while they work to preserve the grounds and the rare plants they have no way to replace. These videos show the Desert Museum in a busier time. It has plants and animals to care for and no ticket income to help cover the cost. Like other nonprofits in a similar bind, the Desert Museum is asking already generous donors to be even more generous. But it still leaves a, a very large gap for us, uh, millions. And so we're just uh, working diligently every day right now to, to try to get through the other side of this as a, as a healthy and whole organization. All these organizations have resources online so visitors can appreciate on screen what they can't see in person. The Children's Museum is hosting a virtual Earth Day event next Wednesday while it copes with the loss of ticket sales that covered about half of its budget. But it has been able to use the time without visitors to use money earmarked before the virus hit to create new attractions for when the museum reopens. So in that sense, when we reopen, there's going to be some new things. Um, in the museum that weren't there before because we've had that opportunity to work. Despite the squeeze on their budgets, none of the nonprofits say they fear for their survival. Michelle Conklin at the Botanical Garden says she believes people support the things they love. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.